Welcome to iLector Online. Here we have three more problems. They're again very interesting problems for which we need to find the value for x and the value for y in each case. Notice that we don't always have to use the exterior angle theorem. We can use other theorems as well, other things that we know about triangles and parallel lines and so forth. But what we're going to do here is go ahead and, and come up with whatever method comes to mind, although keep uh, be aware that you can probably solve these in many different ways. So let's go to our first one over here. Here we have a triangle. Notice we know this angle. This angle is given <laughs> This angle is given as a 90 degree angle and of course if we know two of the three angles we then should be able to find the third angle as well. So here we can say that x degrees plus 90 degrees plus 64 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. So first we'll subtract the 90, so have x degrees plus 64 degrees equals 90 degrees when we subtract 90 from both sides. And now we can subtract the 64, so now we can say that x degrees equals 90 degrees minus 64 degrees and that would be equal to 26 degrees. So therefore this is equal to 26 degrees. There we go. Well now, uh, let's see here. Do we know if this is a right angle or not? Hmm, we really don't know for sure. But what we do know is that these two lines are parallel to one another. These little arrows indicate that. And here we have a transversal, which means that alternate interior angles must be equal to each other. So if this one is 26 degrees, then this one must be 26 degrees as well. There we go. And now finally, we can again see that we have a triangle over here. We have three angles. This one is known, that's 90 degrees. This one is 26 degrees. So we can see that the sum of those three must add up to 180. So 90 degrees plus 26 degrees plus y degrees must equal to uh, 180 degrees. First we subtract 90 from both sides. 26 degrees plus y degrees equals 90 degrees. Then we subtract 26 from both sides, we get y degrees equals 64 degrees. So therefore, this one is equal to 64 degrees. And so we have the two answers we were looking for. Just a quick check. Notice that 26 degrees plus 64 degrees does indeed add up to 90 degrees, so that was indeed a 90 degree angle. All right, our second example here. Hmm, what can we do here? Let's see here. Well, we have this triangle right here. We know this angle. We know this angle. That means we can find the third angle. So let's call that angle one. So we can see that the measure of angle one plus 47 degrees plus 15 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. When we add these two together, we have the measure of angle one plus, that's seven, uh, 57, that's 62 degrees equals 180 degrees. Or we can see that the measure of angle one is equal to 180 minus 62, which is 118 degrees. So this here is equal to 118 degrees. All right, now I can see that angle X and 180 degrees those are what we call supplementary angles and they must add up to 180 degrees. So at this point we can say that x degrees plus 118 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 118 from both sides, we have x degrees is equal to 60, uh, let's see, 180 minus the difference, uh, 62 degrees. That's right, 62 plus that gives me 180. All right, so now we have the x value there. So that's equal to 62 degrees. And then, so this is equal to 62 degrees. And now again, we have a triangle. We know the sum of those three angles must add up to 180 degrees. So we have 62 degrees plus 90 degrees plus y degrees equals 180 degrees. Add these together, we have 152 degrees plus y degrees equals 180 degrees. And the difference here is 28, so y degrees equals 28 degrees. Quick check shows that when you add these two together you do indeed get 180. So there's the answer for our y degrees. So that's equal to 28 degrees. All right, our last example on the board. Let's see here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
All right. Well, here is an exterior angle. Let's call that angle 1. It's an exterior angle, which means that the measure of that angle must equal the measure of the two interior angles that are not adjacent to that angle. So we can say that the measure of angle 1 is equal to the sum of 35 degrees plus 90 degrees, because that's a right angle. So we know that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 125 degrees. So this here is 125 degrees. Now you can say that these are two opposite angles and therefore we know they must be equal. So let's call this angle 2 and therefore we can say that the measure of angle 2 must also equal to the measure of angle 1 which is equal to 125 degrees. So this here is 125 degrees. Ah, that's getting a little messy here. Okay, that's angle number 2. All right. Now what I can use here is I can use this triangle to find the value for y because I know that the sum of all those angles must add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that 18 degrees plus 125 degrees plus y degree equals 180 degrees. Adding these together I get uh, 143 degrees plus y degrees equals 180 degrees. Subtract 143 from both sides, I get y degrees equals 37 degrees, because 37 plus 143 gives me 180, and there we go. I have the first value there, so y is equal to, this is equal to 37 degrees. All right, hmm, 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 ah, okay, I see the triangle right here. I know this angle, I know that this is 90 degrees and there is x of this particular triangle. And that means that those three must add up to 180 degrees. So I can say that 18 degrees plus 90 degrees plus x degrees equals 180 degrees. That means 108 degrees plus x degrees equals 180 degrees, which means that x degrees equals 72 degrees. So there's the final one, x equals 72 degrees. And now we found all the values for x and y in each of these sets of triangles. Again, you could do this probably 10 times over and find 10 different ways to solve these types of problems. As long as you stick to the rules, you should be able to get through these and find all the x and y values accordingly. And that is how it's done. At least one example of how it's done.